Jam quarterback for Andrew Jones, presented by Jim Johns of Lightfoot. Hello, everyone. Welcome to week seven of Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Armchair Quarterback is a weekly high school and college football show, spotlighting local high school and college football here in the mountains. Tonight, we'll have a complete recap of last week's high school football around the region, top individual performances, upsets, blowouts, and of course, this edition of Armchair Quarterback will include highlights from Pike Central, Perry Central, Floyd Central, Belfry, Betsy Lane, Eastridge, Prestonsburg, Leslie County. We'll talk Pikeville and Hazard as well. We'll unveil the Super 7 High School Football Rankings and the week's AP Rankings. College football, the Cats are 4-1 and one and the Upike Bears up their record to 3-2. and two. We've got all that to get to. Let's start with last week's high school scoreboard. Loaded with blowouts, shutouts, and crazy finishes. Check these out. Belfry, 53-0 over Floyd Central in district action. It was Eastridge holding off Betsy Lane, 23-20. Fairview escaped Phelps, 32-30. Hannon, West Virginia, all over Jenkins, 41-0. It was Harlan County defeating Letcher Central in district action, 54-6. Hazard in a single-A district matchup knocked off Pikeville, 38-26. Johnson Central over East Carter, 59-0. Lawrence County defeated Sheldon Clark, 48-8. Morgan County outshoots McGoffin County, 64-46. Perry Central, 35-16 winners over Pike Central. Powell County defeated Knott Central, 71-44. And Prestonsburg, 36-17 over Leslie County. Each week, we review the best of the best performances around the region. We love to spotlight huge stat lines, and it's time to look at who shined last week. Some of the top performances of the week from Eastridge, Mickey Thompson, 128 yards rushing, two touchdowns. C.J. Branham added 130 yards and a touchdown. Bradley Woods of Betsy Lane had 143 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Belfry's Derek Wellman, you'll hear from later tonight, four carries, 90 yards, two touchdowns. Tavion Hunter, two carries, two rushing touchdowns. Johnson Central's Blake Gamble, 248 yards on the ground and four touchdowns. From Hazard, Bailey Blair had 273 yards total offense, accounted for four touchdowns. Reese Fletcher of the Bulldogs, 144 yards rushing and a touchdown. Pikeville's Connor Roberts, 110 yards rushing and two touchdowns. And Panther Jackson Hensley, had 136 yards receiving. From Lawrence County, Dalton Ferguson, 183 yards rushing. From Perry Central, Jacob Woolham, 255 yards rushing, four touchdowns, and did it defensively as well, 22 tackles. Taking a look at some team numbers from last week, 27 games with 50 plus points, 10 games with 60 plus, two games with 70 plus points scored. Lexington Christian with 76 had the biggest output of the week. Morgan County, McGoffin County combined to score 110. There were two one nothing forfeits last week, oddly enough. Zero overtime games and 18 games decided by one possession or less. Blowouts, shutouts, close games, and more. We've got highlights of those coming up. This week's AP, the Sports Guys Super 7, U-Pike, UK, and more. It's Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. 
Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit howardfamilypharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted. Late hours and open on Saturday, too. Howard Family Pharmacy. It's the high school football game of the week, presented by Paul Howard Jr., attorney at law, and the Golden Corral Restaurant in Pikeville. This week, the Bulldogs of Lawrence County travel to Pike County Central to take on the Hawks. The game of the week airs Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4 and 8.30, only on EKB-TV. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Last week, the Belfry Pirates traveled to Floyd Central on top of the hill for their first ever 3A District 6 matchup. From midfield, the Pirates with the possession, quarterback Avery Browning hands to the big man, Derek Wellman. He's down the sideline, makes a man miss, and Wellman does what he does, takes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Belfry. Again, Belfry knocking on the door, handoff to the big fullback, Derek Wellman. He takes it up the middle, sheds tacklers, and into the end zone for the second time in the game. Belfry's Tavion Hunter, this time their running game on display. He breaks one, two, three tackles, and he'll stay on his feet into the end zone for another Pirate touchdown. Belfry quarterback Avery Browning this time decides it's his turn. He'll fake to the fullback, keep it himself evades a tackler and into the end zone. Touchdown on the quarterback keeper and the Pirates celebrate the big district win. 53-0, Belfry now 5-1. Next up at Cabell Midland, Floyd Central will be at Sheldon Clark. The Belfry Pirates have won four consecutive AAA state championships. They're a contender again this year. One reason is senior fullback Derek Wellman. We had a chance to talk with Derek. Here are his thoughts about winning those championships. It's, you know, it's an amazing opportunity. You know, we've been blessed by God to be in all the positions that we have been in. And um, for as our seniors, we know we have a lot of on our shoulders, you know, coming after a four-peat. You know, there's more pit teams that are trying to come after us, you know, but we just got to take it one game at a time. You know, we got to worry about getting better before we worry about getting to the big stuff, you know, big state championships. We got to take it day by day and get our team ready to play um, and get to a state championship. This week, the Pirates have a big interstate matchup with West Virginia Power, Cabell Midland. Wellman gave us his thoughts on what he expects to see this Friday. I know they're going to they're run the ball, and I know they're going to come at us, and I know that they're going to play for four quarters. And, um, you know, Coach has told us all week, um, he preached to us about um, two years ago when we played him, we lost um, by a lot, 40 points. And, um, you know, he just, he just tells us that we got to do the little things right, and if we do those things right, we can come out on top. In recent years, Belfry has made a habit of making state championship appearances and coming out as state champs. Derek speaks for all of his fel fellow seniors about this year's expectations. Yes, um, in a way, yes, that is the goal. And we would, right now, our goal is to get better as a team because we have some parts right now that we need to work on. And um, we would love to have another state championship. That would be that would be an amazing thing to do. And so we're just going to take it a day at a time and see how it goes. That's Belfry senior fullback Derek Wellman. Let's take a look now as Betsy Lane, they're winless. They were hosting Eastridge in AA District 8 action last week. The Warriors start off quick tonight. Mickey Thompson with the ball in hand. He'll pick up 20 yards right through the wall of Bobcats. Next up, Zach Ramey tucks the ball. He'll pick up 15 before being drug out of bounds by Morris Adkins. You'll see Ramey again with the ball right down the middle. He'll push push the pile. 
and Eastridge at the goal line. This time, they're stopped and come up short. Betsy Lane now with the ball. It's Logan Lane. He gets stopped. He pitches back to the quarterback, Bradley Woods. He makes two men miss, and he goes all the way. Bradley Woods on the busted play will take it 80-plus yards for the score to get Betsy Lane on the board, but Eastridge hangs on to get the win, 23-20. Next up, Twin Valley at Eastridge. That game tonight, Betsy Lane will visit Leslie County in AA district action. In another AA district matchup at Black Cat Stadium, Josh Francis Field. Prestonsburg hosted Leslie County in an important district meeting. In the first quarter, Drake Nunnery will pitch to Ethan Varney. He gets to the edge and follows a wall of blockers down the sideline into the end zone untouched for the Black Cat touchdown. It's Ethan Varney, Leslie County looking to answer. Darren Whitaker will hand off to Tayton Smith. He finds an opening, rumbles downfield for 20 yards plus. A few plays later, the Eagles in their form of the Wildcat. Direct snap, Deion McCulley takes it. Fights his way into, into the end zone for the first points of the game for Leslie County. Now Drake Nunnery for Prestonsburg, standing on his own 30. He play action fake. He'll find Cody Reigns all alone. No one will catch him. Into the checkerboard end zone. Touchdown, Black Cats. They go on to win it 36-17 over Leslie County. Stay tuned. Coming up, we've got many more highlights and this week's AP and Sports Guys Super 7 rankings, U-Pike, UK, and more. It's Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. The good folks at Howard Family Pharmacy grew up right here in Eastern Kentucky. They know this town just as well as they know their customers. You want to be greeted by a friend and a pharmacist you know and trust. Come see Wes Howard, Tiffany Jacobs, and Lauren Mullins at Howard Family Pharmacy. Located at Eastern, near Allen Central High School. Call or visit HowardFamilyPharmacy.com. Most insurance plans are accepted, late hours, and open on Saturday, too. Howard Family Pharmacy. If you're looking for a fun, safe, friendly atmosphere to achieve your fitness goals, be sure to check out Heavenly Strong, a Christian fitness group that supports your physical and spiritual journey to wellness. Call 606-434-9914 for more information. No matter where you are on your journey to physical and spiritual wellness, Heavenly Strong is here for you. I'm Chief Meteorologist Lathan Hopkins. For the clearest, most up-to-date look at your weather, it's the EKB Weather Cam, brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. We give you a bird's eye view of the skies above Pikeville, rain or shine, day or night. Watch for the EKB Weather Cam every day at 6 and 10. Brought to you by American Heating and Cooling. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches. Last week, a non-district matchup at the Hawks Nest at Buckley Creek. 3A Pike Central hosting 5A Perry Central Homecoming 2017. Great crowd on hand, lots of blue and orange. Perry Central with the ball first. Jack Sluss takes the snap. He'll hand it off to Jaden Neese for a 15-yard pickup. Commodores keep the drive going. This time, Jacob Woolham. He'll scamper his way all the way to the end zone. He had a huge night. You'll hear the numbers coming up. Pike Central tries to answer on the following drive. 
Seth Kahn. He'll find his favorite target, Bryce Elkins, a big 50-yard gain, but the drive stalls. Perry Central stays on the ground. Again, Jacob Woolham takes the handoff. He'll break this one for a 45-yard run for the touchdown. Perry Central wins it 35-16. The Commodore is now 6-0 and will host Whitley County. Lawrence County is at Pike Central, our EKB TV game of the week. And one of the toughest AAA districts in the state features a showdown this Friday night at Buckley's Creek, Pike Central hosting Lawrence County in an important District 6 matchup. We spoke to Hawks head coach Eric Ratliff about this week's big game. I thought we played hard last week. We just didn't uh, didn't execute real well. Got down in the red zone uh, three times inside the ten. Didn't score. So uh, that's going to hurt you any, anybody you play. But uh, you know this is this game right here. It's it's been this way for about three or four years. Winner of this game is going to get a, a home playoff game. And uh, you know we got to uh, show up this week and we got to execute a lot better than we did last week. And you know Lawrence County is very good uh, football team. I think they're uh, leading three A and rushing. You know they got an uh, outstanding quarterback. Uh, he's really good in their in their scheme. Uh, He's very elusive, but not only that, he runs with power. Uh, we're really worried about him. You know, and at the same time, you know, uh, our quarterback Seth is. Uh, we put him in situations where we give him a lot of lead blockers, and and both those guys are, are very good football players. And you know, it's going to come down to to whether we're not. I don't think we'll stop them, but who slows the other one down? I think will be the the one who comes out here with uh, outscoring the other. I think that uh, with the excitement and Lawrence County being a, a rivalry game and a district game, uh, we're going to have a good crowd, and just hope we can come out here and put on a good show for these guys. The scene is Pike Central High School Friday at 7.30, Lawrence County 4-3, Pike Central 4-2, the EKB TV Game of the Week, and you can hear it on The Rock 103.1. In a highly anticipated single-A district matchup last week, Pikeville at Daniel Field at Hazard in a good old annual mountain rivalry. The underdog Panthers struck first and led early before the Bulldogs rallied to tie it before halftime. Then Hazard scored twice immediately after the break and Pikeville could never fully recover in the comeback. Connor Roberts ran for 110 yards, two touchdowns. Jackson Hensley had 136 receiving yards to lead the Panthers. Bulldog running back Reese Fletcher, 17 carries, 162 yards, a touchdown. And Bailey Blair ran for three touchdowns and threw for another to lead Hazard. The Bulldogs defeated Pikeville 38-26 to take the top spot in the district. Next up, Pikeville at Callaway County, Phelps visits Hazard. Week eight of the season is upon us and several district teams, or several teams have district games that will affect playoff seating. Taking a look at this week's schedule, on Thursday, Twin Valley, Virginia is at Eastridge. In district action, Prestonsburg at Shelby Valley. You'll hear it on Z1075. Friday night, Belfry travels to Cabell Midland a game you can hear on WDHR. Pikeville is at Callaway County, an 8.30 kickoff with coverage on Hit City 98.1. Paintsville at Fairview, a district game. Johnson Central at Greenup County, a district matchup. Phelps at Hazard. Betsy Lane will visit Leslie County. Letcher Central is at North Laurel. Whitley County at Perry Central. Lawrence County at Pike Central, our EKB TV game of the week. And Floyd Central visits Sheldon Clark a load of district games this week. And in West Virginia, a game on 96.5 WXCC, Nitro is at Mingo Central. And the Kentucky High School Football Associated Press rankings released earlier this week. In single A, the Paintsville Tigers remain number one, followed by Beachwood, Hazard at number three, Louisville Country Day, Ludlow fifth, Pikeville with a one and four record, still in there at number 10. In AA, it's Danville at number one, followed by DeSales, Mayfield, Lexington Christian, Louisville Christian Academy fifth, and receiving votes outside the top 10, Prestonsburg and Shelby Valley. In 3A, the Belfry Pirates maintain the top spot, followed by Corbin, then Boyle County, Louisville Central, E-Town, and Pike Central receiving votes. In 4A, it's Johnson Central in the top spot, then Wayne County, Collins, Ashland Blazer, and Franklin Simpson. 5A has Covcath at number one, then Bowling Green in Christian County. Perry Central hangs in there at number six with their unblemished mark. In 6A, it's Louisville Trinity number one, then Mayo, St. X, Simon Kenton, and Scott County. 
Those were the ratings based on media votes. There are a few differences in the Lipkin House computer rankings this week. Kentucky High School's Lipkin House rankings in single A, Beachwood number one, then Kentucky Country Day, Paintsville third, Hazard fourth, Raceland fifth, Pikeville at number nine in the computer rankings. In double A, Lexington Christian number one, then Danville, DeSales, Christian Academy, and Mayfield fifth. In AAA, Boyle County in the top spot in the computer rankings, then Belfry, Corbin, E-Town, Lexcath, and our local teams, Lawrence County 18th, Pike Central 20th, and Floyd Central 21st. In 4A, Collins has the top spot, then Johnson Central, Wayne County, Franklin Simpson, and Western at number five. And in the computer rankings in 5A, Covcath number one, then Christian County, South Oldham, Bowling Green, and South Warren in 6A, Trinity, Mayo, then Scott County in the third spot. And after week seven, the sports guys break down the rankings for the coverage area teams, regardless of class or state boundaries. The top seven teams in the area this week's Super 7. For October 3rd, at number one, the 6-0 Johnson Central Golden Eagles. Belfry at 5-1 second, Mingo Central 5-0 their third, Paintsville fourth, Hazard fifth, Perry Central in at number six this week, and Pike Central cracks the top seven. With that four and two record, they're at number seven in the Sports Guys Super Seven. Stay tuned, coming up, many more highlights. This week's uh, AP and, su and Super Seven. We'll take a look at U Pike, UK, and more. Armchair Quarterback presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. been my definition of fresh since 1983. It's the high school football game of the week presented by Paul Howard Jr. Attorney at Law and the Golden Corral Restaurant in Pikeville. This week, the Bulldogs of Lawrence County travel to Pike County Central to take on the Hawks. The game of the week airs Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 4 and 8.30, only on EKB TV. Carolina and Polly here. We're bringing back the Haunted Hills Project. For a second season, we're here in an undisclosed location that used to be an old jail. We also revisit the May House in Prestonsburg. And we're visiting the Middle Creek Battlefield. Did you hear that? The Haunted Hills Project, Year 2, is presented by Appalachian Wireless. Jimmy, and this has been my definition of fresh since 1983. Welcome back to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy Johns in the Pikeville Commons. Taking a look at college football last week, the University of Pikeville Bears traveled to Laurenburg, North Carolina, to take on St. Andrews University. It's Mid-South Conference Appalachian Division, the Bears' first ever. The Bears dominated on every level of offense and defense in this one, putting together 473 yards of total offense with a balanced attack. 229 through the air, 244 on the ground, while the defense held St. Andrews to just 177 total yards. Sonny Warren led the team passing with 186 yards and two touchdowns on just 17 completions. Willie McLeod was again the go-to guy on the ground with 110 yards and a touchdown. 
I spoke with Coach Al Holland about his thoughts on the team's first Appalachian Division win. A big win for a football team. Uh, came out and played solid. Uh, got out to a 14-0 lead there. Uh, Could have easily let them back in the ball game there. Give them some confidence going into halftime being right there. Uh, but proud of our young men. The second half came out uh, with a little grit and a little fire about us. And uh, a huge part of our success here these past three ball games is our defense is out there playing hard. Uh, in, in, you know, creating turnovers. And whenever you create turnovers, it's momentum changes for your football team. And uh, and, and that's big for us as, as we continue to play here and get into deep in this conference. Coach Holland also shared his scouting report of this week's matchup with Point University. Uh, you know, creating turnovers defensively, that continues to be a big one for us. And we got to continue to do that. Uh, you know, offensively, uh, get the running game going early. Um, and, uh, you know, special teams could come up with a big play somewhere throughout this game. Um, we cannot give up points on special teams this week. And, and if, uh, if we do those three things, great things will happen for us. Need a big crowd Saturday. Uh, Coach Wells and the basketball teams also got their Elite Eight rings that they're giving out at halftime and got tailgating with the Bears. So, you know, come out and, and join the Bears and, uh, you know, uh, help these young men push and, and wear pink as well as, as their guys will wear pink socks uh, to honor breast cancer awareness this week. The Bears 41-6 winners last week now 3-2. This Saturday Upike will host Point University at the Hambly Complex. Kickoff scheduled for 1:30. Tailgating begins at 11:30 at the Bear Grounds. And last Saturday the Kentucky Wildcats were back at Kroger Field welcoming Eastern Michigan and looking to bounce back right. after a heartbreaking a loss to Florida. Quarterback Steven Johnson early on goes play action. He'll find Greg Hart over the middle for the touchdown. Johnson again in the shotgun, drops back, fires. This time Taven Richardson all alone in the back of the end zone. Six more for Kentucky. Special teams played well for the Cats as well. Josh Paschal break through the line. He'll get his hand on the punt and Eastern Michigan will recover, but Kentucky gets the ball. Turnover on downs. That play sets up Benny Snell. He takes the handoff, finds an opening, keeps his balance, and is tackled into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. The defense made a few big plays throughout the game as well. Eastern Michigan in the shotgun. They'll take a shot downfield. Kendall Randolph reads the throw. He comes up with the big interception. That will seal the deal. The Wildcats go on to win it 24-20 over Eastern Michigan. The Cats will host Missouri at Kroger Field, 7.30 kickoff Saturday night. Well, another week has come and gone. Now we prepare for another huge weekend of high school football. Week eight already. In college football, there's some great district high school matchups, and there are 14 undefeated teams. Will they remain unbeaten? There are 22 winless teams. Will they find their first win? We'll find out. And the Bears at home Saturday afternoon in Mid-South Conference, Appalachian Division play. The Cats at Kroger Field Saturday night in an SEC matchup. We look forward to a great weekend of football, and we'll bring you the recap next week. You've been tuned to Armchair Quarterback, presented by Jimmy John's Gourmet Sandwiches in the Pikeville Commons. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This has been Armchair Quarterback with Andy. Presented by Jimmy Johns of Pike.